Hi digital marketers, this is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will how to enabling theme independent data layer on a Shopify store. So you can see that I am landing on the Shopify backend. I already told you today we are enable the theme independent data layer. So what is the theme independent data layer? So I am just tell you you can see that i am adding a theme in my shopify store and also you can see that you have a option from shopify store you can add any kind of theme for your shopify store but if you are enabling theme independent data layer then your data layer is activated for all kind of theme if you changing the any kind of theme then your data layer will be activated but if you using the theme dependent data layer then when you change your theme then you have to set up again for the specific theme so i hope you understand what is the theme independent and also the independent data layer so in future i hope shopify will be giving the update and i think the additional script do not work for the theme dependent data layer so in future you need to set up the theme independent data layer for your shopify store that is the advantage of the theme independent data layer and you know that for the shopify store and availing the data layer you have a two option one is you have to use the app for enabling data layer, and second option you have to manually putting the code on your shopify store if you are go to any Bar conversion tracking app store here you can see that per month you have to spend 150 for the 1000 customer order and for the 350 you have only 10000 customer order value so that is the more expensive for the app store owner so you have the option to enable your data layer by using of theme independent then you no need to pay more so for that today i will show you enabling theme independent data layer on your shopify store and that is called the future of data layer so let's get started how to create the theme independent data layer for our shopify store so go to our shopify backend and go to the settings and in the settings option you have a option to the customer event you have an option to create the add custom pixel here so click it and giving the pixel name you can giving any kind of name according to your requirement so i am just adding data layer so add pixel and you have to remove the code and paste the code here uh, in future i will show you how to writing this code so now just i am putting this code and we have a find out a google tag manager code option and you have to put in our gtm code so go to our google tag manager and find out the code so you have just copy the code from the google tag manager and back to our shopify add pixel option and paste the our gtm code here so paste the our gtm code here and save the code and finally you have an option to connect this code with your shopify store so connect it connect pixel is connected so we are successfully adding our code with our shopify store now our work is we have to debugging data layer from lags to console so we have to understand what is the lags how can we debugging data layer from lags to console so go to our website and right click on your mouse go to inspect and go to console here you can see that top that is our console debug data layer here if you are typing the data layer we do not find out anything but if you go to the lag section if you scroll it you can see that web pixel sandbox and uh, that is our shopify store and lags if you select it and now type the data layer and enter we have to find out our debug data layer so how can we debugging data layer from legs to console so for that we are go to our google tag manager and variable sections here we have to adding three different types of user defined variables and using the custom html tag and tickers by using these variables and tags we have to enable to our debugging data layer from legs to console so for that create a new variable click new variable configuration firstly we have 
to create the javascript variable not the custom javascript variable so select the javascript variable and you have to put as it is data LR because in the backend code we have to using this name so if you change the name of the global variable name then your code is not working so as it is you have to put the data layer and also you have to put the variable name is full data layer save the variable and first one we have created now time to create the second one that is so variable configuration custom javascript and paste the code by using this code you can see that full data layer before we have to create this variable so now giving the variable latest data layer save the variable now time to third one so clicking the new variable configuration and third one is data layer variable and data layer variable name will be the fired form and variable name will be the platform also save the variable we have to create our recommended three variables now time to create the tag so clicking tags new tag tag configuration custom html so paste the code script code that is the data layer event and latest data layer which variable we have to create it the before so now time to create the trigger new trigger trigger configuration that will be the custom event and in the custom event we have just adding the dot and activate use rejects matching and some custom event and we are created the fired form so adding it and equals here just type custom event custom underscore event giving the trigger name that is log data layer save it and also the tag that is debug data layer because we are debugging legs to console so debug data layer save it so now you have to submit the all of variables and tags then your code is working continue so now go to our website and check out that our independent data layer are activated or not so go to website so reload the our website and right click on your mouse and go to inspect go to console and again reload the page we are find out our data layer in the right side you can find out the page view if you expanded the data layer here is a page view section you can see the each and everything if now we go to any specific page for view item event here you can see that find out the data layer for view item if we expanded it and also you can see that our e-commerce items according to ga4 schema we are find out our item id variant and item name also that is our ga4 schema and and also the advantage for the independent data layer you have to find out the, the data layer for facebook setup and also the google ads and then pinterest snapchat tiktok you can find out the specific data layer for your all kind of digital marketing platform so now we are go to add to cart event here also you can see that add to cart you can find out the event for that to cart if you expanded it and then go to data layer here also you can find out the add to cart event and also find out your all event parameter which you are want to set up for your facebook snapchat google ads pinterest tiktok so we are now go to checkout and here you can see that event as a begin checkout also find out here and as it is you are expanded the data layer you can find out each and every parameters for your begin checkout event so finally i am just purchasing this product so i am providing the some dummy information and finally click the pay now button here we can see that our purchase event so if you expanded the purchase event in the data layer section we are find out the all customer information for the purchase event so now question is how to create the variable for your specific event suppose you have a setup a begin checkout event for your facebook conversion api so you have to create easily your event parameter for facebook conversion api so for that you have a create the variable that is facebook dot content id for item id and then you have a need the item name so you have copy the facebook dot content name here is the name and also the content type 
and currency and then value so how can you create it if you go to the variable section now we go to the variable section create new variable variable configuration data layer variable and here we have to create the data layer variable name so go to our independent data layer and copy the facebook for begin checkout event so copy the facebook here and back to our tag manager paste it dot and again back to our data layer here you can find out the content id so copy the id content id here and back to Google Tag Manager variable section and paste the content ID. And here you have to create the variable. And also you have to, for the item name, you can also copy the content name from the data layer and paste it here and also create the item name variable. And by using this method, you have to create each and every event parameter for your specific platform tracking. So I hope you understand how to use pick the your event parameter from your independent data layer for Shopify store. So finally, we have to enabling theme independent data layer on our Shopify store. And you have to also track each and every social media platform by using this data layer. So thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next video with a new topic. Thank you.